what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Well, well, well. Candace Owens has gotten caught with her hand in the cookie jar. What did Candace do to deserve such distinguished mention on the Willie D Live channel? It appears that Candace is being accused of finessing what could be millions of dollars from Republicans, according to a report. One of the writers for Politico noticed that Candace, a conservative activist, has been sending text message solicitations to Republicans. According to the messages, Candace is raising money for herself through an LLC called Candace Owens LLC. The text message reads, Hi, it's Candace Owens. <laughs> the Black Lives Matter movement is gaining more power by the day, and we must stop them. Stand with me. The recipient is then directed to a web page that raises money for Candace Owens Company and LLC. The page says, paid for by Candace Owens LLC and not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. What's even more crazy is this, fam. Candace Owens LLC appears to be a for-profit company. That's because, as stated on the website, contributions to Candace Owens LLC are not deductible as charitable contributions. <laughs> Candace, Candace, Candace. Oh, whoa, sly slum. Why, she's a sly fox, huh? A fox, not foxy. Don't get it twisted. The whole thing looks like a campaign advertisement, fam, but it's not. It's not directing money to a campaign committee, but the campaign Pain pockets. Candace pockets. She's figured out a very simple formula for success. Talk down on black folks and get paid. That's simple. They're so easy to identify. All of them. It's like they read from the exact same script. They are totally clueless to reality and they do it on purpose. See, her little slick words and half-truths make the slowpokes think that she's smart. So they in turn like her, give her money, but they can't protect her. They can only let her go as far as we allow her to go. This is why every single time when their time run out, talking about the tap dancing jigaboos, when their time run out, they always come running back to the black. Don't they, fam? Every single one of them. Even the ones that didn't have no black friends, boy, all of a sudden they get in trouble. Or they pass it up with the black, running over there, going to get the Nation of Islam. They got, they got the fruit of Islam standing around. And they want to get back black. It's amazing how they return to their roots once they are placed in exile. <laughs> Candace is trying to go get the money, go get the money. She's trying to get that money. It's simple, fam. See, all it takes for someone to be uh, tap dancing jigaboo is, is to be selfish. When you're selfish, you don't think of anyone but yourself. You could care less what others think of you. You're going to get on code and go get the money. Just like some of these conservatives do. I've been around some of them where... In private, they just act like regular people. And they, when they talk, they talk really sensible and they don't be on that Donald Trump type 
anti-black stuff or none of that. But the minute they go on that public forum, they transform. And they just start talking all crazy. Getting that money. Because some white people have also figured it out. You got white coons also. They figured out that if they talk down about black folks, they can get paid. Now they have to do it a little bit more overtly or uh, covertly because they don't want to be called out straight out as a racist. You know, like they still have, what do you call, sponsors and stuff like that. You know, that these advertisements needs to be ran and that's what really pay the bills. So they don't want to run the advertisers off. Now the advertisers, the brands, they know that they're racist, but the brands don't care. They're going to get money where they can get money. You know, these companies, they just want to make money. So they're going to ride with you. They don't care what your political views are. As long as the, the wave don't get too high, they're cool. The moment they get too high, they're going to get up out of there. They're going to leave you out there all by yourself. So these super conservatives, these anti-black whites, they know it's certain things that they can get away with and they can go, 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 go. And the, and the, and the brands, the sponsors, they're going to just chill. They ain't going to say nothing until there's a public outcry. And then they're going to demand that they either make an apology or get fired in order to keep the money coming in. Because that's all they care about. So they are, it's, it's all a hustle. All of them hustling, you know? So they get it. Candace get it. And Stacey's Dash got it. Where is Stacey anyway? I heard something about she was on Skid Row in LA. Broke, uh, pushing a basket. Uh, and she was getting jumped. She had got jumped by some uh, some little girls, some little, like little uh, little girls had jumped her. Say she was talking, but she had a a Trump hat on, like one of them Trump hats, uh, the Make America Great hat. They say she had one on, and it was backwards, but it was. Uh, they said the. Uh, what was it? The M was missing on make. Uh, it, but it really wasn't missing. It was really dirty. It was dusty, dirty. Because you know she had, you know, the dude that she was with had broke up with her. They got divorced and he left her penniless. So, you know, she's trying to hustle her way back in. But right now, she, you know, she can't get a job uh, anywhere. Uh, they say she went over to Burger King and... She was working there for about a day and uh, it was some dudes and, and some uh, workers. They found out who she was and they attacked her with raw meat. She got attacked with raw meat. It was hitting her in the face with it. Now, I don't know how true this is. I'm just saying this is what they say. <laughs> Oh, man. The bottom line, fam, don't be a sellout. No more talk. What, what the haters talking about?